Hi, Patreon. So today I'm going to teach you about how to use a pendulum. Okay, so maybe you already have one or maybe you want to use a necklace. It doesn't have to be a pendulum, but um, I, love, I love these. They're really great for getting yes or no answers or even maybes. Um, now, first thing I'm going to talk about is how do you pick a pendulum? Like you walk into the store. Okay, so let's say there's a row of them and they're all hanging up. So you want to go with your dominant hand. So I'm right-handed. So I go with my dominant hand, and I might run my hand underneath a bunch of pendulums, okay? Now you see how I'm holding my hand totally still up here, because these would be hanging on a rack. Let's get this nice and, and still. Okay, it's totally still. But watch as I put my hand underneath it, how much it starts moving. See how it's just kind of going crazy out of nowhere? That's because it's bonded with me. It loves me, and I love it. So, um... That's a really good way to pick a pendulum. So if they're all hanging up, you just kind of run your hand underneath, and the one that starts moving the most is the one that wants to be yours, okay? Now, one quick thing on crystal care. Um, in a lot of these, I wish I could find the other one I was looking for, but um, sometimes it's just like a chain and then um, some sort of a stone at the end. Now, um, with these, you want to treat them like friends. You want to be um, take very close care of them, make sure they don't get broken or damaged. If you carry it on you, um, that's a really good way to bond with it. So we want, but like I said, we always want to treat our pendulums like friends. We want to um, talk to them, say thank you, be polite, don't be a dick, you know, because then it's not going to work very well for you. So um, now... Everybody's going to have sort of a different message. So for me, yeses are forwards and backwards like this, okay? And nos are back and forth. Um, a maybe is sometimes kind of a circle, or maybe it'll circle this way. Now, um, personally, if I see something, I've never actually seen something be a circle counterclockwise, and that's a good sign to me because um, angels will move things in clockwise manners, okay? So you always want to, before you use your pendulum, just like if you're reading cards or um, doing anything else, you want to maybe close your eyes, take some deep breaths, imagine white light coming through you or whatever other color energy, because all color energies are positive. And um, you're going to ask, for love and light and protection, okay? Because you only want to deal with angels. You don't want to deal with any entities that are not of love and light, right? So um, your spirit guides would be angels, you know, positive energies, your guardian angels, that sort of thing. So um, you could start by, some people like to put their hand underneath. I personally don't do it. Um, but, you know, um, whatever feels good to you, do it that way. Follow your gut instincts. Now, you could say, show me a yes. Okay, see how mine's starting to, can you show me bigger? Okay, now it's getting bigger. So this is the yes for me. And as I already told you, you know, this is typically my yes, but maybe your yes will be something different. Maybe your spirit guides will move this in a different way. Okay, now show me a no. And you'll see that it's going to stop and it's going to shift. Okay, it does that all on its own. Can you show me no bigger? Thank you. Could you show me a maybe? Could you show me a maybe bigger? Can you see how it's going in a clockwise circle? Hey. Okay. So, and see, then I stop. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so now I could ask some simple questions just to make sure that I'm getting the message correctly. Is the sun shining through the window? Yep. Um, do I hate my Patreon supporters? Nope. Do I love them? Yep. Do I love them with all of my heart? Yeah. Okay. So now you can use this for, um, thank you, by the way. So now, um, or thank you, thank you, because you usually have, everybody has at least two angels that um, stand over each of their shoulders. So, um, so now I could use this, and you see I'm doing it with my dominant hand. 
that's my style. I guess I don't know if there's anything wrong with doing it with your non-dominant hand, but I'm real particular about it, so I feel like that's the right way to do it, and I can only teach you the things the way that I know. But anyway, um, so I guess you could say, um, you could ask really big questions. Is my boyfriend cheating on me? No. Well, that's good. I don't have a boyfriend, so it's accurate. Um... Is my bunny Mavis happy? Yep. Um, will she ever learn how to take care of herself like a normal bunny? Nope. It's too bad. <laughs> okay, but anyway, that's how you use a pendulum. I hope you like it. If you have any questions at all, absolutely let me know. Love and light. Bye.